Okay, so we're just going to give you a bit of a status update on the OpenID uh, Connect specifications. Um, in, back in February, we approved um, six implementers drafts, uh, the basic messages, standard discovery registration, the ones that uh, <coughs> Pam talked about. And those are the basis of our um, current interop work. We're now up to our fourth interop. And uh, for those of you that aren't already participating, um, you can find the uh, interop uh, information in uh, wiki at uh, O Society Commons. Uh, we currently have 11 implementations participating, um, something on the order of 56 um, features in the wiki. We have more features actually being tested. Um, we can get into that later. Um, we're a bit behind on adding them to the wiki as Roland and others have uh, built new uh, feature tests. Could you speak up? Uh, it's going to be available. Yeah. Um, so the part that's um, had the least development to this point was the one um, that Pam was talking about, session management, which is um, which most people know is actually the hardest thing to do, which is why we left it towards the end. Um, so when we say session management, we're not just talking about single logout. We're actually talking about synchronizing the session between the uh, relying party and the identity provider to be able to detect important things on the social web, like uh, people changing uh, who's actually logged into the computer. Certainly in home situations and others, we do have device sharing as a very common scenario. So we have to be able to deal with being able to detect somebody different being logged in at the at the IDP um, is probably even more important than detecting when they've logged out. So that work is currently underway. We have a new draft spec that uh, Matt just finished writing up last week, uh, which is published on the OpenID Connect website. So we're still getting feedback on the implementers drafts. We're still uh, dependent on the um, <coughs> various uh, IETF specifications. In about 20 minutes, I'm supposed to be on a call, which will send hopefully draft 30 of OAuth to the IETF editor, um, which RFC or RFC editor, which is the final. Assuming nothing goes wrong in 20 minutes, it's going to be the it will be the final version, draft 30, thank you, Pam, uh, that will go to uh, the RFC editor and become the final OAuth core spec. Um, the other specs, uh, Jose, uh, which includes the JWS, JWE, JWK, um, Mike Jones and, and I are editors of at uh, the uh, IETF. So those are progressing apace. Um, we have had several new drafts. Be, um, there's a new meeting coming up in two weeks in Vancouver, um, the uh, IETF face-to-face, where those will hopefully get um, more consensus built. Um, uh, actually, JWT is not homeless anymore. Um, it's been accepted um, as new work by the um, uh, OAuth work group now that uh, OAuth is core is hopefully done. Uh, so that will be um, starting up. We do have the um, drafts um, submitted to that work group as initial drafts. Um, Simple Web Discovery is now in the IETF um, uh, apps area working group. And uh, we haven't made the decision to go with a combined uh, future uh, web finger proposal. There's work being done on that until something stabilizes. We will likely stay with um, the simple web discovery spec that we currently have. Uh, but if, if there is a uh, consensus spec on how to do discovery, then we will um, consider moving to that. Um, we have designed discovery and connect to be modular so that uh, we can make that change without disrupting 
um, the majority of the spec. Um, so our next steps are continuing to incorporate the feedback, um, working on the new session management spec, hopefully getting that done in the next uh, month or two. Um, Google has been a huge help with that. Um, we're actually testing out parts of it on very large infrastructure to make sure that it does actually scale as, as required rather than crossing our fingers and uh, throwing it out there. So there's a fair amount of testing that's happening behind the scenes to make sure that the basic principles that we're going to be used actually do scale to millions and millions of users. Um, so hopefully sometime in the early fall we'll be able to create the final versions of the specifications and take that to an all-member vote to uh, finalize them. That's 